welcome to our channel. Yes, welcome back to our channel. So today we want to show you how we make our snow crab legs because with Valentine's Day right around the corner, this is the perfect meal to make for an intimate night at home. So right here on the stove, I have a multi-pot. Now this is a three gallon multi-pot and it is filled with water. And because it takes so long for this to actually come to a rolling boil, I already have it boiling. So to our multi-pot, I am going to be adding six tablespoons of Old Bay seasoning. Yes, please. Two tablespoons of garlic powder. Uh, it's very hot, honey. I'd like to do it, okay? And then we have 30 peppercorns, and we're just oh. going to throw that in there. And then your rolling boil is going to mix that all up, and it is going to taste absolutely amazing when it all infuses into your, your snow crab. So you also, at this point, want to just salt this water to your liking. To be honest with you, it really does not need that much salt, because if you're going to dip your crab in melted butter... You got your salt right there. Well, yeah. um, if, don't add the whole entire thing of the salt because then when you eat the crab, then it will just taste so salty. And, and we don't want that. And one time I was at the restaurant, there was already salt on my um, fries and I put more salt on it and more. And it and, was too salty, right? Yeah, and then I don't want to eat it. Exactly. So exactly. you don't want that to happen to your crab. You don't. Okay, so we have our water prepared to put our snow crab in. Now I have two pounds of frozen snow crab. Okay, so all you're going to do is gently take these clusters here and we are going to very carefully submerge them in this water. Now the reason I like to use a multi-pot is because it just makes this process so much easier because after these cook you can just pull out the the top portion and the top portion is actually a strainer so you are all ready to roll them okay so as you can hear our water has now stopped boiling because we're putting our frozen crab in there so that's oh, bringing down the temperature okay guys so we have all of our clusters now submerged in our seasoned water and you're just going to let these simmer for eight minutes and that is it you're gonna then take them out, get them on your plate, and you wanna serve them with some clarified butter. You might want a baked potato, maybe some corn on the cob, but honestly, these by themselves are the perfect meal. They're so delicious, and they are cooked perfectly. I'm talking to the point where you go and you crack that crab leg. It is coming out in one solid piece, and it will be seasoned to perfection. So guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe below so you gain access to all of our future videos. And please ring the bell so you get notifications every time we post a new one. And also, we're gonna be placing a link in the description below to our e-cookbook, which is live on our website right now. Please make sure you jump over there and grab yourself a copy. Thanks so much, guys, and have a great night.